so I'm back with a holiday look and if you can guess what it is let me know otherwise um, obviously it's in the header this is my Christmas look for you all uh, it has some green in there definitely some of this reddish wine look you're gonna hear the word wine a lot in this tutorial I used a lot of these um, deep reddish wine colors so and then obviously signature red lips I think everyone needs to wear red lipstick for Christmas I think it just makes the holiday even more better so this is my look for you guys and if you like what you see please stay tuned for more I'm gonna start by priming the lid and um, obviously this is a look we're going for so I'm going to prime the ugh, entire eye I'm using Max Beijing and I want something that has shimmer to it um, just because um, it is the Christmas time and I'm just right now I'm really into like the shimmery um, glitter type thing um, what I'm gonna do first is I'm actually gonna start with the green and as you can see this is a very like um, I'm going to say emerald, foresty green. There's a lot of shimmer to it. I don't know if, you, I don't know if it's picking up in the camera, but there's a lot of shimmer to it. Um, and it's actually from Pure Lux. And um, the color is called Forest. <laughs> so let me open it up for you guys so you guys can see what it actually looks like. It looks like this. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a small flat brush and you want something that's compact like this because it's going to keep the colors on more, okay? So you want that and I'm just going to pick some up on my brush and I'm going to try to tap it so it disregards the rest of the color because you don't want a lot of fallout because I did do my foundation and blush already. You don't want a lot of fallout. So then you're going to just pack it onto the lid. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Um, we'll come back to this color just to kind of dabble a bit more, but you'll see that in a bit. <clears throat> then, because Christmas really is like the green red, I wanted a little bit of the red to kind of hint through, but I'm not really using red. I'm using more of a wine color, and you may have heard me talk about this before. Um, this is from The Face Shop, and um, I got it from a Korean store. And the color is called Sexy Wine, and it is exactly what it says. It's like a deep red wine color, and it's going to give me that that um, wash of um, burgundy or red that we're looking for, okay? So um, <clears throat> really what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a pencil brush like so, dab it in, give it a nice load, tap, tap, tap. And I'm going to just kind of cut the crease just a little bit lightly. I don't want it to be a deep cut. I'm going to cut it a little bit and kind of fade it out from there. Okay, so there's the beginning. I'm also going to extend it just a little bit past because we're also going to bring it underneath. Like so, like this. So there we go, and now is blending time. So blend, blend, blend. So um, now we're going into the warm palette, and I'm going to take this color right here. Okay, it has a little bit, just a little bit of. Oh, maybe it doesn't. Maybe it's just my eyes playing tricks on me. Um, but it's like a light pink, a light purple, light lavender color, and we're just really going to go on top of this um, wine color that we have. So just like that. And then I'm going to just finish it off with my highlight. We're not done with the eye yet, but we're just going to go into the highlight. And um, I'm going to use, um, I think I'm going to use this color right here. It's a peachy shade on the screen. It's showing off kind of white, but it's a peachy shade. And it's not shimmer, it's matte. And so there you go. And I'm going to apply that to the highlights, just like so. 
this. So, okay, so you can definitely see the color. Going back in with my blending brush, I'm just gonna blend all of that together. Then I'm going to take another um, flat brush, and you know that this is my other favorite all-time brush. And I'm gonna go into a, um, like a chocolate color. And this one's from Physicians Formula, and it's um, their baked oatmeal collection. And um, yeah, it's I'm taking the darkest color, and it also has a little bit of shimmer to it, but it's a really nice chocolate brown. And I'm gonna just tap it in just to kind of give my eyes a little bit more depth, okay? So just go from a point. I'm going towards the outer edge of the eye, and I'm just basically dabbing it back in. And then I'm taking the edge, and I'm kind of cutting the crease just a little bit like that. You just continue the process until you get the darkness that you want. I'm going to take an angled brush and in the same chocolate brown, I'm going to go underneath the eye. And then lightly take the other side of it and lightly blend it so it doesn't look so sharp. A black liner and line your eye. Line your eye like you normally would. You want to go really close to the waterline. Now I'm going to go back with a um, gel liner and I'm using fluid line. And we're just going to go back and I'm going to go over that line. That was more of like an outline. I'm going to go back just to deepen it. And I'm going to do a little flick like this, just a very small flick. Okay. So there goes my flick. Let's back up. And I'm going to go back with my angled brush, back into that chocolate brown, just so I can kind of set the liner. And then I'm going to obviously curl my lashes, or not curl it up, but um, apply the mascara. Okay, so I did my brows, and now just to finish off the look, I'm going to do my lips, and we're doing red, okay? You can't do Christmas without red lips, so, as you can tell. And now I'm going to go with Kat Von D, and this is her Misfit. It's a really, really nice red, okay? I'm going to put that all over my lips. Let's see, um, you know what, we'll go with this Estee Lauder High Gloss, okay, and this one is in blush, we'll go with it, we'll put it on top, for my lips. Just to give it a little bit of shine. And there we go, right? Okay, so anyway. On my cheeks, I went with a deeper wine color, so obviously this um, tutorial or this, uh, yeah, this tutorial, this Christmas tutorial definitely uses a lot of wine. Mm. Really quick, let me get, okay, sorry. But uh, this tutorial definitely uses a lot of the wine color, so again, I'm going with MAC, and I have Plum Foolery, definitely like a reddish wine color tint to it. So that's what I'm wearing on the cheeks. So it gives a little bit more of a flushed out look. Um, and yeah, you guys, this is the final look. I really, really like it. It took me a while to figure out what I wanted to do. But um, as I said before, whenever I do these tutorials, it's really on a whim. I never have anything really planned. So this really came out really good. I really like the outlook of this Christmas look. Um, and I probably will wear, this, will wear this to a Christmas party or any event. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed it. <coughs> Excuse me. Still sick. Um, and it's snowing outside, and so everyone be safe. And I hope that um, you guys have a great Merry Christmas, um, Happy Holidays, and hopefully I'll be back here soon to do a tutorial for New Year's. Um, so stay tuned for that and, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Bye.